Hello diabetes challengers, welcome to our channel. Why fixing our health issues seems like climbing a mountain when it is not. However, in order to fix most of our health problems, firstly, we have to understand that in order to do so and be healthy, we have to fix our diet. And we can't fix our diet until we know what is in it and what was done to it. Here comes the importance of understanding food science and nutrition and the difference. You have to understand that nutrition is not the same as food science. Food science is what happens to food between the ground and the mouth. Nutrition is what happens to food between the mouth and the body cells. Each is dependent on the other, yet both are hidden from the public. That's on purpose because the food industry doesn't want you to know that it is the food processing that rendered the current concepts of nutrition moot. In his latest celebrated book, Metabolical, Professor Dr. Robert Lustig says, 50 years ago in America, if you have fatty liver, you were an alcoholic, period. That was the only thing that caused it. Today, millions of people have it, including children and people who do not even drink alcohol not only in America, but also in every country. So what is the common denominator? Mitochondrial dysfunction. Known as the powerhouses of the cell, mitochondria produces the energy necessary for the cell survival and functioning. Through a series of chemical reactions, mitochondria breaks down glucose into an energy molecule known as adenosine triphosphate, ATP, which is used to fuel various other cellular processes. So what causes mitochondrial dysfunction? Few things. Alcohol. It is designed to inhibit its functioning. It inhibits enzymes that are all necessary for adequate mitochondrial functioning, AMB kinase and ACADL. The lack of essential fatty acids, especially omega-3 fatty acid, also causes mitochondrial dysfunction. Pesticides on fruits and vegetables. Stress also can cause mitochondrial dysfunction. But the one that is of front and center, the one that is sort of everywhere, the one that you can't seem to escape, dietary sugar, especially fructose. Sugar, the sweet temptress that stealthily creeps into our diets, tantalizing our taste buds while silently sabotaging our health. Its addictive allure makes it challenging to resist, yet its effects on our bodies are profound. Excessive sugar consumption is the cause of all our health issues, obesity, diabetes, heart disease, dementia, and a lot of other health issues. These all start with the same issue, fructose. Like alcohol, everything fructose does to the mitochondria is to inhibit its functioning. So your healthier life begins by cutting out the culprit, sugar. As we draw the curtains on this enlightening discourse, I urge you to reflect on the profound impact of your choices. Every meal, every snack, every decision, holds the power to shape your health and well-being. Embrace this journey with courage, armed with the wisdom of food science and nutrition. And this is the purpose of this channel. And if you are watching this channel for the first time and would like to know more about our channel and what will you learn and more about me, my name is Dr. Ali Qasim, and I have discovered that I have diabetes in 2007. Our channel is about giving you a new perspective on your health that will empower you and allow you to make healthy changes for a healthier you. Once you understand how much power you have over your health and your body, you will become excited about how much you can do. And then when you make the decision to become a master of your health, you will change to new healthier habits. Because as long as we keep the old habits that cause all our health issues, we will not get any better. Once you make that decision, you will have control over your body rather than your body controls you. I started taking my medication in 2011 until 2017. At that time, I used to take uh, four types of medication, metformin, Jardians, Diamicron, and Tragenta Dole. And at that time, my HbA1c was 10.7. And because of the harm these medications made to my body, I decided to stop taking these medications completely. At once in one night, I decided not to take any kind of medication and adjust my diet. In two weeks time, I managed to control my blood sugar from 9.8 to 5.4 or 5.5 since then until today without any medication. And I will share all the information and all the experience with you. I have studied diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, 
and my main references uh, are Mayo Clinic, Harvard University, USDA, the Authority of Agriculture uh, in UK and in Australia. My references of doctors are, the first is Dr. Jason Funk, whose videos and knowledge guided me through this journey since 2017. Thank you, Dr. Jason. Second is Dr. John Yetkin, who was a great professor of nutrition. In his amazing book, Pure, White and Deadly, which I will give you its summary in coming videos, he said, people may not believe what I say. Only time will show how right or wrong I am in any of what I say. But at the outset, I can make this basic statement that no one can refute. There are no physiological requirements for sugar. All human nutritional needs can be fully met without having to eat a single teaspoon of white, brown, or raw sugar, alone or in any food or drink. Another great professor is Dr. Tim Knox uh, from South Africa, who is a researcher, educator, and author. He is well known for challenging common and old paradigms in the discipline of exercise physiology. Professor Knox has published more than 750 scientific books and articles. He has been cited more than 16,000 times in scientific literature. And finally, Professor Dr. Robert Lustig and his latest celebrated book, Metabolical. In this channel, you will learn scientific information about diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, about food, uh, like fruit, like vegetables, meat, fish, spices, vitamins, minerals, and almost every edible thing. My body weight used to be 110 kilograms, and within three months, I dropped 27 kilograms. Uh, and since then, until now, as you can see, my weight is 83, which is the ideal weight. You will understand how amazing your body is, and you will learn to master your health, stay healthy naturally, and have a quality life. Not only you will add years to your life, but also you will add life to your years. If your health is important to you, I suggest you join the Challengers family, those who challenge diabetes, and do not forget to hit the bell button so you will not miss any new video because maybe a solution or an answer to your question uh, is in that video. I would like to thank all our family members, those who join the channel, and those who are going uh, to join with my heartfelt gratitude. I hope to see all of you over the top with a healthy, wealthy, and prosperous life. Thank you for watching with my heartfelt gratitude.